What's up guys? Today I'm gonna talk about an excellent React library for creating a tree structure. In example, every one of us uh, use folders and files on your operation system and now I show you how to create the same structure in your web browser. Le Firstly, let's create a React application with Create React app. Uh, for that you must install Node.js and uh, React globally. Okay, open our terminal. And let's switch folder to install projects. I choose folder projects. Copy projects as pass name, cd, our projects. Okay, write npx create react app and name folder. Now I write uh, react tree. Hold on for will be done. Okay, project uh, has been created. Open our idea. Now I'm using, using Visual Studio Code and open our folder projects to react tree. Yes. And the next we should install free library React Abortist. Uh, for that, open our browser and search React. React Abortist. Okay, uh, next let's install with npm or yarn. Now I'm using npm because I choose npm. Waiting for will be done. Okay, we got it. Next, uh, let's delete unnecessary files. An example of test.js. App CSS. And all layout in app file. Okay, good. Open our documentation. And let's copy example data. Uh, now we are using static data, but after I will show you how to download data with fetch. But now using we're using uh, only static data. Copy this example and copy an example code. Okay. Good. Tree component has some props and I tell you about uh, mainly. Initial data, it's uh, our data. Of course, open by default, opens all folder and in structure. Uh, Vids, uh, we can define uh, uh, in example in percent, 100 percent, uh, but uh, height. Uh, we can define only in uh, pixels. Okay, and we include not. Not it's a separate function uh, whose return uh, layout for our not. Now we can define our stylus for that and images. I'm already have uh, index CSS file and I passed some styles in this file and I'm already have uh, two pictures for our layout. And I want to define class name, not a tree, and uh, define two variables uh, with picture. Uh, let file image and before we need to import this image import file ng from assets 
file.svg. And similar variable uh, folder and import folder image folder ng from folder svg. Okay, we made it. And uh, we can open our project and PM start. Okay, we forget for import tree library. Tree tree react arrest. Okay. This will be fine. Okay, we see a default structure. Uh, we already uh, defined two variables with picture, but we are not accept it. And uh, we see a condition of if not is folder, uh, icon folder, else uh, icon file. For icon file, I accept file for folder, folder, and accept file and folder. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we can see that, uh, but our folder is not toggle. We can define open by default true uh, and files was include, but we can toggle this folder. For that, we need to define on click and callback function not toggle. Okay, it's working, good. We already have a not a bad structure. And I want to show you how to create search with Z file and folders. Uh, for that, open documentation and add search term. And copy to our tree component. But before that, we need to define uh, input, search input, and create state. Term, set term, use state. Uh, don't forget about import. My idea, make it automatically. And let's create input input container and create input and label search value our state and on change callback event set term event target value okay it must be working search okay it's working threads it's good working okay <clears throat> and last feature which i want to show is upload data with fetch unfortunately this library doesn't support everything data but we can create three component after load data for that we need to use fetch uh, with hook uh, use effect and put json file in public folder or use a real request to the server. I'm already have JSON data and I'm create app dot JSON and pass this data. Okay, and 
we need to use hook use effect use effect with empty dependence of course and patch up dot json then data data dot json then check to uh, download our data for that let's show in console inspect console okay we get uh, json it's good of course for upload async data we need to create use state uh, const data data fetch set data use state and set data data and after we need to create a condition if data fetch is not null uh, then we show our tree component and uh, in initial data we passed data fetch good it's also working uh, we can change some data in our json an example my new file and changes will be done of course uh, this is not all possibilities of this library all information we can read in library website uh, link we can see in the description of course thank you for watching guys i hope this video will help you put likes write comments and see you later take it easy